Now think of a number. Sorry you've been troubled, but we simply must get to the bottom of this telephone business. Calling is a better word. From the moment you pick up the receiver until you get Wanstead instead of Hampstead. One instead of Ham. Since exchange is no robbery, let's have a peep, by courtesy of the London Science Museum, at the amazing apparatus behind the scenes and so get an idea of what happens when we dial. The most important operation is that of the uniselector, which automatically finds a free line. There's the busy little instrument on the right. The development of telephony makes a fascinating story. There's the first transmitter. And there the receiver. The first telephone was invented by Philip Rice in 1860. These Joe Noble diagrams will show just how it was constructed. The first receiver consisted of a bar of iron and wire, a rather crude affair with definite limitations. The instrument could only transmit music, not speech, and was therefore quite useless, unless you had a musical voice. It wasn't until 1876 that one could speak on the telephone. It was then made possible by the invention of Alexander Graham Bell. The instrument acted as both transmitter and receiver, and was based on a system of magnets. When a magnet is moved close to a wire coil, an electrical current is induced. A light iron membrane is substituted for a heavy magnet to facilitate movement. And this membrane is kept magnetized by a powerful bar fixed near it, as these diagrams show. Perfect sound reproduction is only a question of correct membrane vibration, as exemplified in the loudspeaker. But the sounds were feeble until Professor Hughes invented the microphone, based on the theory that when carbon is compressed, it's an easy conductor of electricity. I'm going to connect it up to our modern talking picture apparatus and let you hear it, or rather let you hear this watch, which I'm going to place on the baseboard. This experiment shows how the sound of the tick strikes the carbon and then the ear. The passing of the old mic and the coming of the new is a triumph of scientific development. In all telephones, Carbon granules are used, and if you've never seen the works, here they are. But the old inventions are by no means obsolete. They are embodied in every modern instrument, and even some of the old wrong numbers are still with us. Incidentally, telephones can be very useful sometimes. Hello! Hello? No, no, my dear, don't you understand? I can't get home. Don't you understand? I'm detained here at the office with the reports. Hello? What was what? That noise? Oh, I don't know what that was. Probably it was... That was one of those reports. <laughs> 